Veritron VL Flex 52 gauges. These are kind of that standard format, small gauge. Most of us have these holes all over our helm. The beauty of these, not only do they connect to your NEMA 2000, you can program them with an app from your phone. Hold on tight, we'll talk more about that. Join us on the Elliott as we realize our five-year plan with the kids. Grown up, moved out, graduated from college, we take the dog, sold everything, and kitted out the boat so we can cruise the Pacific Northwest all while living and working in the heart of Seattle. So these are the old gauges that were the, the Volvo Penta gauges. These uh, are basically video gauges and they are the J1939 uh, protocol. And I think they call that 1939 protocol because I think that's when it was made teasing it's old uh, so what we're upgrading to because we put in all of our new senders which are NEMA 2000 we're gonna put in these gauges they are a TFT gauge which shows up really well in the sunlight that's about it there are some that are out there that have a full uh, face to them that are round as well uh, these just have a little square face I'd say that's kind of the drawback however there's not a lot of NEMA 2000 gauges out there it's kind of crazy so first of all in the box we have something called uh, the spin lock videos always been very proud of this uh, basically you just have a hole you pop it through your helm and then you just use this spin lock <laughs> wonder what the marketing guy that thought of that one He's probably a guy that did hot pockets it's just it's a screw on spin lock whatever all right but it does work pretty well and you don't have to fart around with a bunch of other type of connections and bolts and stuff so i do like that idea uh, this uh, connector is just plugs right in on the back of the gauge and then it does resistive uh, it does ibs connections as well and then yeah and then here's the important one right there a nema 2000 because that's how we're going to use these and plug them in to our system that's all that comes in the box so you better have your iphone or whatever your phone available and look up the manual online with most anything that you're going to program especially if it's not already installed in your system you generally have to use a power source and this blue smart charger uh, is pretty slick when you use it. There's actually an app for it, just like everything. God bless uh, Victron. It's in your Victron Connect application. I had this on hand so I could hook up these gauges and be able to program them, but wait, they have NFC, a near field communication chip in them. Basically all you have to do is open up an app on your phone. You can configure these gauges with no power they're passive chips. You're basically able to read the gauge just by tapping your phone to the gauge and it tells you it read the gauge. So now it knows all the information about the gauge, the address, etc. And you can go through and you can program this thing now. So here's the cool part. Not only can you program it as an individual gauge, you can also program it as two gauges. That is awesome. Talk about this. When you go in to configure your gauges, look at all these different formats that they have uh, to be able to, to load onto this. You can do fuel level, fresh water level, wastewater level, trim level, rudder angle, coolant temp, boost pressure, engine oil temp, engine oil pressure, transmission oil pressure, RPM, boat speed, amp meter, volt meter, battery state of charge, battery SOH, battery temp, battery autonomy. That one's new to me. Engine hours, speed over ground, course over ground, depth, and your clock as well. And here's the thing, you don't have to have everything on NEMA 2000 on your boat. You can use resistive with these as well. I don't think you can do the dual gauges with the uh, resistive setup so because there's only one resistive input on these things but maybe you can combine the resistive and the NEMA 2000 on a single gauge leveraging both sets of, of wires um, I don't think so from what I'm seeing in the configuration but let me know if you know more about this uh, and you can this is the one that has the dual setting so you can set up independent pieces on either gauge I do like 
the larger single gauge format. And the reason is, is if you look at it in the background, it has this, this visual level uh, that's being represented behind the actual number on the percentage as well. I like that, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, when my one beef is, you know, if you take a look at a gauge type of being, let's just go to fuel. I like that one. It's a good example. When you say you can assign the tank number to it, but when it goes to per, it, when it goes to the units, um, it only has percentage. The information for gallons is on NEMA 2000 uh, that's transmitted on the PGN, which is all the information that comes across NEMA 2000 for this particular format for fuel. Why don't they give that as an option? I'm kind of bummed about that. Hopefully, in a later upgrade on this application, we can get that because I like to know exactly how many gallons we have in our black water tank, our fresh water tank, or our fuel tanks, especially when we're out cruising. It tells me how many more days I have to worry about getting a pump out or whether or not we need to start the water maker as an example for the fresh water or black water. Uh, the last thing that I think is super cool on this is it does have the option of putting in alarms. So if your fuel level starts getting low, uh, you can have an alarm. That's very nice, especially when you're running the gen set on multiple days on a day tank. Having an alarm on there, that way you're not having to look over your shoulder constantly. I think it's pretty slick. When I think about Maritron, you have to buy an entire separate unit as an alarm. I think that's, well, that's kind of a bummer, to be honest with you. And with this, it just comes for free for each one of the gauges. Uh, let me think, uh, one other piece that we'll go into, it does have whether or not you use the resistive input or IBS or the frequency. And last part is in settings. So it does have a wire where if you have a illumination for day and night on your helm, you can trigger that through one of the inputs on the wiring harness. And in here you can adjust what is the brightness for daytime and nighttime. Uh, we're just, we don't have that function on our helm, so everything's just gonna be well, the same. And then uh, it does have the clock and you can set the clock, whether it's on 12 hour or 24 hour format. And it does have an offset for those of you that live in areas that uh, observe daylight savings time or not. Hopefully they keep upgrading this application. Um, it is available on Android and on the Apple phone. So all of us should be fairly well covered except for my friend John, who still has a flip phone. Let me know what you think. Love to see your feedback in the comments. In the meantime, peace. Uh, I don't know what IBS means, irritable bowel syndrome. I probably should know that since we're doing a quick video on it.